Yo, hey everybody. Uh, so the other day I was doing a repair, replacing a derailleur hanger, which is pretty common repair in the bike industry. And so anyway, this is a Fuji mountain bike, and this is the original derailleur hanger. And as you can see, it's just kind of a cast. It's got some hollowed out sections, and so I replaced it with one of these wheels manufacturing uh, dropout. So we we actually use quite a few of these, and so I just kind of wanted to make a video thought it might be interesting to do a little review on these um, so they're basically they're generally every bit as quality wise as good or usually much better than the original dropout but this particular one like I say it's off of Fuji it's their dropout number 250 which they've got literally hundreds of dropouts or derailleur hanger replacement hangers there to fit pretty much most all bikes and uh, anyway, um, so I'm just getting this thing bolted up here to the bike, putting a little Loctite on the little bolts there, which everything fits uh, exactly as the OEM derailleur hanger fit. Um, so, you know, one thing I've noticed uh, just as far as bicycle manufacturers in general, the, the variability in the hardness, I guess, of their, their hangers is varies quite a bit some are super super hard like they've been overly heat treated and if you bend them just a little try to bend them back they're so rigid it's hard to do and they'll most of the time they just break and then some of them are so soft that it's you can almost bend them by hand without even a derailleur hanger tool and i wonder sometimes if they bend just from just from an aggressive shift or something but that, that's one thing i like about the wheels manufacturing um replaceable dropout hangers there is that they they're just the right amount of stiffness as far as to give you a nice firm holder there for the derailleur give you nice firm shifts but they're they're if you do bend one in a crash or whatever they're pretty easy to uh bend them back a time or two but you know they're all machined out of you know it's a machined aluminum hanger there so the quality and just I don't know the looks of them is really nice they always fit you know as far as the all the specifics widths and everything else never really had any issues with them or um, any of the threads or you know where the hanger actually threads into them has always been really good so um, you know this there's something that we use you know like I say all the time and you know in addition to lots of other things that you know back in the day they used to make all kinds of axles and cones that were hard to get so you know we don't see quite as many of those anymore but we use you know their bearing presses and stuff probably almost daily but just doing a quick alignment check here once we got it on there and everything's uh, nice and square sometimes depending on if the frame is you know how bad the mishap was sometimes those dropouts will get a little bit mangled and you have to square stuff up a little bit but in this case everything was was really good um so yeah got the uh just putting the new derailleur on there and um just giving her a test through and everything but um yeah but basically i just wanted to make the video this a little um you know not getting paid by wheels manufacturing or anything like that it's just one of those things that it's one of those uh products that can be super useful when you know when you need one you don't there's a bike you don't sell or something it's difficult to get parts for a certain manufacturer they're always easy to easy to get them from several suppliers so anyway that's going to do it hopefully you enjoyed the video and uh, thanks for watching